It's like up high in the mountains, up into the Five King Mountains. Their bottled water that they that they sell in the <laughs> in the town. Bottled water. They sell they. Well, I'm just being funny, but yeah, they have the, they have the spring fresh bottled water. It tastes just like the yeah, they do have these, the springs uh, from up in the mountains. Invention called the plastic bottle. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm refreshed. Let's give it another go. Sup, Benja Bum! Uh, congratulations, Tom Tom, on your points. Wow, very nice, man. Congratulations. I know there's a trap around here because this guy told me he almost was toast. Yeah, you can definitely see some smoldering uh, steam coming off of Wolf's robes still. His hair is kind of sticking up. <laughs> He's just a couple bald patches on his head. And yeah. <laughs> Do I have to make a perception, perception check for the whole world? No, I, I'm not letting you. You already did a perception check, so I only allow people to do it one time. Because it defeats the purpose. You could basically... It just doesn't... It just doesn't. Yeah. yeah, you could just keep rolling and rolling and rolling until you nail it. And I just don't, I, I don't allow that. <coughs> All right. All right, Gim steps into the room. Go in and check for traps or look for something. Uh, so let me do it as knowledge and dungeoneering. Okay. Does that help with perception at all? Knowledge and dungeoneering. Well, seeing that it is a trap, uh, I will allow Amon to inspect the tiles and to possibly disable them if he is successful on determining the the actual trap themselves. I also have dungeoneering knowledge too. Does that help me? Uh, dungeoneering is not going to help you here. If you do a dungeoneering check, I'll just talk about the architecture of this place. <laughs> okay. Do, do you think I can... Uh, I got oh, perception. Snap, I guess. Can I... See if I can use perception to see if we can find any uh, any more of these uh, uh, tiles. Well, you know that they're definitely trapped, so I'm gonna allow Amon to do a disable because you're you're sure you're, you're that sure. everywhere that where you're at right now you're safe. The the middle yeah. tile between you and Gimli. Uh, you don't know anything else about the tiles of the left or in front of you, but you do know that this tile which is to your half right and this tile here they exploded when wolf stepped on them so I, you may um, want to inspect the tile in front of you i kind of i kind of look at them <coughs> up, from past experience a i suggest you back out of the room because i've had traps explode on me and i'm going to try to disable this first one <laughs> yeah oh yeah tom tom or at least just get in the doorway. Melficio, thank you again for the follow, sir. Back up. Back up. You have a bunch of sisters or brothers that you're Don't telling to far, follow I the channel? I appreciate it. Pull my butt out. <laughs> okay. Oh, Fedakin's up to 350. All right, Fedakin wants a token pack. Okay, so I'm going to try to dis disarm the one that I know right here in front of me is a trap. Whenever you whenever you get down the one right in front of you? Yeah. Yeah, as soon as you you bend down and and you notice that there is a basically the gray area on that tile, you've definitely were able to determine that that is a pressure plate. And as you're fiddling with it, uh, your your tools, uh, one of your tools slips out of your hand and hits the pressure plate. So I need you to roll a uh, reflex saving throw. <clears throat> check that because I actually have something in reflex. Wow, I only rolled four on 3d4, so I rolled a two, one, and one. Lucky for him. I have a plus three reflex. All right, one d twenty plus three, 
and I'll tell you if y'all have a DC already and uh, if you are successful I'll let you know let you know what happens <clears throat> oh yeah as soon as you see that as soon as you see one of those uh, picks fall out of your hand man you you exit stage left and and do a, a reverse tumble right out of the room and then the 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 actual tile erupts in flame so uh, this tile here erupts in flame now the thing is after that is done you get back up to the tile you get down there you could feel heat coming off of it but you hear something click so you think it probably armed itself again the actual pressure plate probably armed, armed itself again alright um, I'm gonna run out of thieves tools here you keep breaking them and throwing them no you're not gonna have to no I'm not no there's there's plenty of different thieves tools so okay um, can I yeah, I know you said one per we can only do things one time can I try it again or do I need to check try another tile well okay. you you know that this this tile over here you know that that tile is safe okay All right, then I'm going to do this. I'm going to move to that tile. And I want to check the tile that's in front of me below the one that I just tried to disarm. Okay. Do I, am I going to need to do this for each tile or is, no? Is, no. You can uh, I got a qu Yeah, what's up, Faye? Um it takes very little pressure to set those off, correct? Yeah, you had a tool fall on one. Yeah. Okay, guys, why don't we just fill up a jug, one of these empty jugs full of this water <coughs> here, and throw the water out there across the floor and see which tiles erupt in flames. Okay, and make a jug. I've I had I picked up one of the empty jugs from before. I'll fill it up <laughs> here at the fountain. Following them at max slug speed, so they're just now getting into the mossy curtain. <laughs> okay. I Do you want me to want throw me it to across see. the floor, or you want to? Oh, I'll roll it. I pull out a piece of chalk from my backpack, and I put an X on the tiles that we can stand on. Okay. Let me give you a... Okay, sure. You can, you can mark this tile. Well, you can... No, sorry. You can mark this tile. Basically, the three tiles in the row in front of you. Those are the Those? three safe tiles that you know of. Okay, so I <coughs> tell the group, you know, uh, if it's got a mark, you can step on it. So what I want to do is I'll take the... Hey, what's the up, Fire Warrior? Long time no see, man. Flask of water or whatever it was. And what I want to do is I want to slide it towards that... Um, uh, Stairway. The Just throw the water, water on it. Don't, don't don't destroy the jug. Oh uh, yeah, I guess yeah. The water would be enough, wouldn't it? Mm, no, you can get it. Well, you're gonna need something to actually. Well, water will activate it, yeah. But I mean, it's not gonna. It's not gonna keep the the tile active. You know what I mean? Like it's just well, like standing there. Yeah, ones, you, right? you got to trip yeah. it. That's all you have to do. So if we, if or, you threw, could, or you could, here's a hint, maybe you could shoot it with an arrow or, you know, what if you set the throw a coin with... or something like that. Anything with uh, any kind of weight. Or water, I'm that would work. I'm yeah, going, you were, I'm you were right about sliding the jug out there. That would work too. You could set the jug on those and activate them and then they wouldn't reactivate. I'm going to go back into the room we came from and I'm going to find some stuff to toss in there. Let me let that's let me do that. Let me, uh, could I have determined whether the pressure plate, if it stayed with pressure on it, would it have reset? Oh, the tool's still on there, and it it still reset. Yes. Oh, I thought you said my tool fell down in it. No, no, the you f the tool fell and hit the pressure plate. Yes, 
and the tool in turn activated the pressure plate, and then it, you know the 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 floor tile exploded. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my axe on my uh, on my back, and I'm gonna get an armful of bones and skulls, and I'm gonna carry them over to the the door. All right, you find about. We'll say you find about ten bones total, Gimli. You find like five femurs and five skulls. There you go. All right. I get the the skulls and whatnot. Anyway, I take a skull and um, just drop it. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna back up a second. Uh huh. Dave, while while this assault's going on, what's going? Can I hear anything in the next cavern? No, nah, just talking from the from the goblins and everything. Uh, they're just talking about uh, dinner and and they're they're just mentioning other things. Just just goblin talk and about spears and and swords and every once in a while you'll hear a, a, a more hefty voice that says "Shut up!" and that's hey, about I, it. I got a quick question. I sure I can see in the dark, but when they move away, I can't see it anymore. Yeah, because you don't have any light on. You said you didn't want any light. No, but I can see and I'm an elf. I have a racial. Okay, well, what kind of, you, got, you should have told me that when you first got in here. Oh, no, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm asking now. <laughs> no problem. What kind of, uh, what kind of radius you got? What's it? Dark, right? Or dim? I'm trying to yeah, yeah. it and it doesn't Here you go. Here you, you, go. Got some, uh, you got some vision now. Yeah, that that's perfect. I mean, that's great. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss uh, <coughs> one of the skulls on this one. Okay, it erupts. All right. On um, you said um, this one right here. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it ex you can see the fire, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. That one erupts. That one erupts. All right, then. Uh, this one right here goes. The one to its right, that's closest to the stairs. Ping. It too erupts. Ooh. Okay. Um. I see the <coughs> doorway in front of me. When you step and back into the room. I know the one in front of me is safe, so I'm going to do this one. I'm going to toss a bone for here. When you step back into the room, both of the statues' mouths start to move. Uh oh. And they say, approach with humility and live. Kind of weird. Why did they not say that the first time? Yeah, Dave. Why? But they. But they do say approach with humility and live. But you just what had you two floor tiles uh, activate with flame in front of you as well, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do they mean approach on your knees and careful not to trip those, <coughs> spot, trip those uh, tiles? Oh. Uh, is it just the gray part that's. That's the um, pressure plate, or the whole square. Well, it's 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 the whole square, but the that's what I thought. yeah, but the plate is is actually the the gray. But the uh, you know when you were down there inspecting it, you, you still think that the the whole tile actually you know, does cause the the floor to explode. Well, to you know jettison fire out of it. So I'll go with that one too. Which one? No, with I with your assessment that the whole tile is a no no. Yeah, it's just from your from your uh your check that you had rolled, so Alright, I'm I'm gonna toss a bone here. You toss a bone there. <sighs> You've got six bones left. Actually, you have seven bones left. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. 
I'll back out and ask the group a question. Okay, guys, it seems like pretty much there's only like three squares right in the front that we can stand on. Everything else seems to be trapped. How did you? How do you know that? Is that your well, final conclusion? Not as of right now. I'm just giving them the assessment that oh, I have okay. so that we can um, make. You a, still have seven skulls. Decisions. You actually got them piled in your arms. You're <laughs> cradling them as a it like a baby. A, approach with humility. Would a uh, religion check uh, knew anything about it or what? Well. If it's saying approach with humility and it's still lighting the tiles up, you think that this could be a trap for sure. Yeah. Even though your DM uh, forgot to tell you the first time you entered the room, approach with humility. Uh, yeah. So basically, it, it's been saying that every time you enter the room, so three times now it said, enter with humility and live. And both of the actual statues are, are saying that in unison, so... So that was just a F up on my part. Okay. Um, another question. When I, when I was in there, uh, do I need to go back in there? I want to look up and see is there anything at the ceiling that is noticeable. Yeah, you look up. There's a beautiful chandelier hanging down. <laughs> this isn't part of it, but if he's going to swing on that chandelier, I'm going to let him. I have a grappling hook and 50 foot of rope. There's a, uh, there's a quite a large chandelier that takes up the, the middle tile there and the, the middle between you and this one right here. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I want to. You want to around. swing on that chandelier, don't you? Yeah, I'm gonna. I want to look right here at the doorway and see if we just never even look for a button or something to. Turn you see nothing. Off. Nope. You see nothing. There's no buttons, no switches, no, no light switches, nothing like that. Okay. Go. Go. Back try going, going up. Instead of down. I, I do not know why you guys so are up, uh, seeing. Uh, those are dynamic four, lighting four, doors four. that I create. So you guys are not supposed right. to be seeing that, to be um, honest. Just so, like the skulls uh, like you were doing, or the femurs, second. or whatever. Yeah, I know I can step on these three. So I'm hold on one second, that guys. One. We lose Dave? No, I'm right here, Gus. No, you said hold on a sec. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. While he's doing whatever he's doing, I want to ask, does anybody here have levitate? Sorry, no. I have Come on, you age fucking piece of shit. Pound telekinesis. And that's about it. Okay. All right. So there you go. You guys shouldn't shouldn't have uh, been able to see any of that stuff. But those uh, those yellow lines, guys were my dynamic lighting uh, doors. I always designate them a, ask him when he gets another back, color. How much, if I could determine how much these pressure plates uh, I guess. weigh. He's back. It's part of the tile. I mean, it's got to be pretty heavy, so that's probably that's why they're so sensitive. Okay. Yeah, that's right, probably why they're so one. sensitive. It's because of the sheer weight. Up on that one that tile as well catches on fire <sighs> okay you have five bones left that was not an f-bomb fire warrior that was a figment of your imagination <sighs> right, I'm gonna try one more here it 
two catches on fire. Okay, I'm back out. All right, you have four skulls left. Okay, um, I've tossed in pretty much between tossing and stepping on these things. It. Except for the wall. Except for the tiles. wall. Except for what? Except for the tiles that run along the wall. Yeah. Well, actually, just the three that are right at the opening. He tried one just to the north. Yeah. Or, or right I've up the wall. Down. You never said that you threw any here, here, or on Actually, the bottom. Actually, I did throw. I here. I was standing. No, I did throw there. The very bottom. Very bottom. I threw that one. Okay, it it exploded. You threw one here. It exploded. You threw one here. It exploded. Uh, I believe you threw one here. It exploded. You threw one here at the bottom. I did not see you ping that. No, I didn't throw one right in front of the door. Okay. But I will now. <laughs> Nothing happens. It just bounces and hits up against the door. Okay. Um, and I look up and there's... Mm, this, the chandelier is in the center of the room in front of the stone, right? It is. You think you could get a, a nice running start and jump up on that chandelier? You might be able to make it over to that altar. Is there anything on the walls you? that I can that that I can either grab a hold of or put a rope on between me and that door? No, but you, it's, it's a pretty low hanging chandelier so you think you might be able to get a pretty good running start. I, I hope he does this. What about keep going along the wall down toward the bottom? You still got some more bones left. Did you ping? Did you do that one? Yep. Yeah, it's clear. And then the one below it is clear. No, no, no. no. no Negative on ghost fire. This one catches on fire. Now the one directly below Almond, that is clear, yes. So he can literally stand here and be fine. But this tile yeah, this caught on fire. <laughs> Lit up. Like fireworks. Fireworks. Okay. Then let's. Do... All right. I thought you said it. Pal. No, the one, the tile right in front of the door bounced. You gotta Probably remember, bounced. Fire Warrior. They yeah, are new players. All right. So, did you throw any more skulls? No. Okay. I've still got what four left. Three. Three. Left? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put the skulls uh, down on the ground right here by the door, and um, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a running start and jump for the get chandelier. A little running start. I knew it. Jump at the good tile and grab the chandelier and try to swing to the nice. The dice. Give me a an acrobatics check. Give me a very important acrobatics check. Huh. Alright, now, before I do that, this is what I'm going to do. Melficio, thank you again. Your and third cousin following race. the channel. And I'm going to hand it to somebody. I'm going to tell them if I fall, yank my ass real quick. I don't want to sit there and barbecue. A what now? You're going to... 50 gonna... foot rope. Uh huh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So I want to attach it to my belt loop or my around my waist or whatever. And I'm going to hand it to um, Blix. And I'm going to tell him, look, <laughs> if I fail this, Heave -ho, huh? you yank my ass back because I don't want to sit there and just barbecue. <laughs> you got it. I love so, it. Let's see. Oh my god, okay, this is I got a good. plus seven to acrobatics. Let it roll, man. It's down on one knee, praise to whatever god will listen. <laughs> what was it the one you prayed to, Dave? Moradin. Moradin. Rolls a 20. Oh, Boom. yeah. 
you run you get a good jumping start off of this tile the chandelier is on hanging over this one so you jump about seven to eight foot up into the air you grab onto the the actual chandelier and you swing across and you do a spinning flip and you land on the back of the altar and the dais up here yes all right so now you see this beautiful radiating crystal in front of you looks to be quite valuable actually all right well first thing i want to do is look around to see if there's any sort of a button or a switch or anything else i can do to turn them damn plates off there is Good. nothing is there anything behind me as far as like on the wall that i can hook a rope to no Okay, then I'm going to untie the rope from me, and does it look like the gym is really well bolted into this thing? No, it's actually just sitting, it's like a, it's like sitting in the cusp of a hand. It's just it sort of just sitting, the, the, the palm of the hand is facing Blixwise, and the gem is actually sitting on top of the hand, and the fingers are kind of, you know you know, wrapped around it a little bit, but it, you're able to just pick it right up if you want to. I mean. um, <clears throat> what I'm looking for is I want to see if I if there's something that strong I can tie my rope on like to, since it's still around my waist. So that if anybody wanted to come across, they could use the rope to get across those well, if I'm not mistaken, Blix and uh, Gimli are holding on to the rope, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we've got a rope that's from me to them across those pressure plates right now. Yeah. So I guess I... Um, I guess I want to check the, the gym to see if there's any sort of a... Is it, you know, if I pick it up, is it going to trigger anything? No. You feel some, you feel something like a when you pick up the gym, you feel like a like a surge of energy run through your body. You're not affected by it or anything. It was just sort of like a like an instantaneous feeling that you had that you had gotten when you picked up the gym. Kind of felt exhilarating kind of actually. Okay, so none of the fingers that were holding it or underneath the no. basin of no. it where it was. It okay. flicks you a it bird for it. taking the gem from it, but... Well, you know, grab <laughs> my nuts and just shake them a little bit at it and we'll move on. Um, okay, I'm going to look over the edge real quick to these stairs. Do... Does it... What is it? What do I see when I look down at these stairs? It's just a... Just a small ramp of stairs, probably for, for goblins or something sure. like that. Okay. And in fact, that it's really not even stairs. It's sort of like a, sort of like just like a uh, multi-layer uh, dais or or altar. I mean, they're, they're really not even stairs. Okay. What about this statue in front of me? Do I see anything <clears throat> special or? Uh, no. But you did notice that the mouth moved uh, when it when it spoke to you uh, each time that you entered the room. And they spoke in unison, and it's sort of just like a uh, uh, an angelic type of figure. Okay, so I can't. There's nothing obviously. Maybe we should put skulls, skulls in their mouths. I don't see anything else special about this room. Not that you can tell, no. You can't, no. Okay, um... I want to climb on the statue. Since this... It's, Which one? If I, if I go, like, down here, to where it's not really stairs, but it kind of is, yeah, that's yeah. not going to affect it anyhow. No, you, you, you step on the... Uh, you step on the altar. It's actually pretty sturdy. It doesn't. It doesn't break or anything. Okay, I'm gonna climb on the statue. 
And the statue says, "Ouch! Watch my boob." I'm just kidding. That'd be awesome because I would have groped it. 